Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. Luke and I are in Utah at the High Star Ranch checking out a new suppressor from Silencer Co. This is the new Scythe TI. As you can tell from the name, this is a titanium suppressor. This thing is extremely lightweight. It's a 30 cal can and it's rated up to some pretty ridiculous calibers and we got the chance to shoot it on a bunch of different hosts today. Let's go for it. Double dead hostage. Really? <laughs> you killed him twice. Yeah, that one felt good. That guy doesn't want to be alive. Yeah. The Scythe TI is Silencer Co's first titanium suppressor. This thing is fully welded construction and it's extremely lightweight, weighs about seven ounces in its factory configuration. This thing is rated uh, with no barrel length restrictions all the way up to, I think, 300 Remington Ultra Mag. It is a titanium suppressor, so it is not considered to be full auto rated. That's pretty common when it comes to titanium cans, but still, extremely lightweight very compact. This actually has a shortened version of the brake that you might see on some of the other cans like the uh, Omega 300. This is just a single chamber or single port style version of that brake end cap. This is still compatible with the longer end caps if you wanted additional braking effect, but seems to work pretty well on the host that we tried today. This thing ships with a standard direct thread mount, but it is ASR Bravo compatible. That's the pretty standard one and three eighths by 24 hub threads that are used on, let's say most suppressors in the industry, not all of them, but quite a lot. The out of the box configuration of the Scythe TI includes the brake on the end, direct thread mount, and also a tool for tightening this thing onto the gun. Because if you just look around on the suppressor, you don't actually see any places for a tool to grab on, no flats. They actually have a sort of a scalloped interface on the inside of the front of the can and a little tool that you plug into the end and you can use that to tighten the can, then take it out, leaves the outside body of the can extremely smooth, snag free, extremely low profile mount, but you can still get it tight to your rifle. Titanium suppressors, especially super light, super short ones, are usually a pretty good fit for anybody running it on a high caliber bolt action rifle, especially if you're trying to keep the weight down or the overall package length fairly short. Another advantage there of using a direct thread mount is that this thing mounts extremely flush to the barrel. You don't have the additional extension of the mount interface and you don't have the additional weight and you know length added to the gun from a muzzle device. Although it's still, you could use this thing with any of the uh, hub compatible mounts like Silencer Co's ASR system if you really wanted to. One of the common downsides of titanium suppressors is a sparking issue, but Silencer Co has addressed this by actually anodizing the titanium, which is something I didn't know you could do to titanium before today. We were shooting this thing in the bright sunlight, so it's pretty difficult to see flash and spark, but we did not notice any sparking on any of the hosts that we tried. We shot this thing on a couple of uh, bolt action rifles and 308, 65 PRC. We also shot this thing on several 300 blackout hosts and it sounds really good, but you know, suppressor evaluation requires a lot of expensive machinery and not a couple of guys with bad cases of tinnitus wearing hearing protection on an active range. So it sounded good to us, but it's really gonna come down to the more advanced testers to determine where this thing falls on the volume to weight ratio. Just a few inches. Just barely over to the right. Hostage is dead. <laughs> you are pretty much dead, Gunner. Remember, you're shooting for the bad guy. We're the, we're the, we're the, we're obviously the Russian squad because we just keep murking the hostages. Flood the building with nerve gas. We'll go in in 45 minutes. Just nuke it from orbit. Impact. Impact on it, but I believe that was off the left edge. Hole in one, huh? The, 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 I thought it wiggled. Just off. Sure Feels like all wiggle? the work's been done for me this time. Sure. Okay. The Scythe TI is not one of the newer flow-through cans like Silencer Co's own Velos LBP low back pressure. This is a very standard welded baffle stack. So that is one of the reasons why this thing is probably 
very quiet for its size and weight because it's using a whole bunch of baffles in a very traditional design. It's always been a good way to get a can to be quiet. It just doesn't make it low back pressure. If you think about this thing as being used primarily on high caliber bolt action rifles, that's not really a platform where you have to worry so much about back pressure, so not a big deal. If back pressure is absolutely a deal breaker for you, then perhaps the Velos LBP is a little bit more your speed. The suppressor and all the baffles are also machined, not 3D printed. They've been using a little bit of the 3D printed titanium in the core of the Velos LBP, but this is a machined, welded, traditional baffle stack suppressor. So very classic technology, but extremely lightweight. And as far as we could tell, at least very quiet. We got to test this thing on sort of an impromptu rifle golf course. So we had this thing on a bunch of different hosts, bolt action rifles, 308, 65 PRC, semi-automatic 300 blackout, semi-automatic 308, variety of cartridges and platforms. MSRP on the Scythe TI is just under $1,200. These things will be available through all the usual avenues of acquiring silencer co-suppressors. For example, probably silencershop.com, which has been an on-again, off-again sponsor of Luke's podcast. So go ahead and check there first. Hostage dead center. Yeah, that's, you know, I found that really... Every fucking time. Starting to think Luke might not be on our side. We'll try to get one of these things in for a proper review for now. Thank you guys for watching. We probably should get undercover because there's a 100% chance of a thunderstorm later in the afternoon. TFB TV is supported by our sponsors, Venturi Munitions and Top Gun Supply, and also all of you wonderful people via Subscribestar and Utreon. Links in the video description. We really got to get the hell out of here. See you guys next time. Hey guys, hop here for TFB nope. TV. No, nope. too soon? I was, I'll, nod, I'll nod when it's in frame. It, it takes a second for it to get back. Fuck, every time I fuck up the intro, you're gonna have to redo this. <laughs> MSRP on the Scythe TI is just under $1,200, 1,174. I said I wasn't gonna remember, but I did. So, screw you, Austin. <laughs> Take me, Lightning. Take me. You gonna say, quit boat guarding the Lightning, give me that. <laughs>